What does all of this today mean? Perhaps like myself, you were raised with stories of superheroes. Some of the younger ones, do you like to play superheroes? I know I certainly did when I was younger as well. Maybe some kind of play fighting. Do you like to do play fighting? Yes, no, some do, some don't. That's fair enough. Either literally or maybe on a games console. Do you like to do play fighting on a games console? Do you think about that one? I've got some nods coming now. Do you have brothers or sisters or even cousins that you don't always get on with? Some do, some don't. Yes, fair enough. Perhaps you like to fight with your hands. Perhaps you like to fight with your words. Do you argue? I think we all do from time to time. This isn't just for the children, incidentally. <laughs> and you know it isn't just siblings that we end up fighting with sometimes. 102 years ago, a fight started. The biggest fight that had ever been had on the face of the planet. It affected pretty much every country of the world and would go on for four years. The commemoration we've had this morning and that was held just two days ago on Friday the 11th of November marked 98 years since the end of that war. It wasn't pretty. And a lot of people died. It wasn't like the stories of superheroes where they get up afterwards and everyone's happy and lives perhaps happily ever after. People actually died. People from Hamilton, from Lanarkshire, all over Scotland and the UK, all over the world actually died and their families were hurt terribly with that loss of life. War is a terrible thing. So today we remember those who lost their lives. And yet again, we hope against hope that it doesn't happen again. Today we remember that, them and we pray to God that he will help us to stop fighting in our countries and in our homes. Who will be the first to stop it? Will it be you? Do you ever ask, is it I, Lord? <laughs>